In this video, we'll show you some of the main ways that SimWriter can be used to produce symbol supported documents. You can start simply by typing, and the symbols will appear as you type. We ate lunch in the cafe. SimWriter has a degree of inbuilt intelligence, so that when you type it can choose automatically, in many, many cases, the most appropriate symbol for what you've typed. So I'm going to type, can you drink a drink from the can? Can And you can see that in the two instances of the word can, it knows from the position of the word can in the sentence that the first actually is simply a question, whereas the second is a noun. Similarly, the two drinks, it knows that this drink here is a verb, and it knows that this drink is a noun, and it symbolizes appropriately. You can easily make a choice of symbols when more than one is appropriate. So if I type I work in a factory and I click in work, it may be that I'm in the office and this symbol is appropriate, or it may be that it's more physical work and that symbol would be more appropriate. There are other symbols for work that you can see here. This symbol, the third one, is in a sense like a clock might work. This is work in a sense of getting money for what you achieve. I go, go to work and that involves the money there. So there's a whole variety of different symbols that you can choose from and you can choose the most appropriate simply by clicking here. And there is this symbol for factory, which is a large building in which there is work, or if you want a more pictorial symbol, you could choose that one. The program can also handle double words. I'm standing at the bus stop. And you can see here it automatically chooses a more sensible symbol for the double word bus stop. If you want, you can in fact click in the word stop there and change that or click in the word bus. So I could in fact split that up if I wanted to and have bus and stop. I could change it if I wanted to. But in this case, the most appropriate symbol is the single symbol bus stop there. You can also rename symbols. So if I type my cat is named, and I'll just say cat, and again you can see there's two alternative symbols you can have for cat there. I'll just leave it at this one for now. If I click in this word and I press the F11 key, or I click here, change the word. I've got here the sign is cat to Sam, but this simply is the button that you can use for changing the word that is attached to a symbol. So if I click there, the word goes away. And I can type in the name of my cat, Whiskey, or whatever. It's important when you finish typing the name there to click outside of the word or press the right arrow key so that you move away. Otherwise, as you keep typing, it will keep putting the letters that you type under that symbol. So when you finish typing, press the right arrow key or click away. Now in doing that, we've not lost the symbol for cat. We haven't changed the name of, the symbol, of this symbol to whiskey. What we've done is we've added it. So if I now write, whiskey is my cat, you can see that we still have the symbol for cat, 
as well as the new symbol for whiskey. Later on you will see how you can save these changes permanently so that if you came back to the program and again wanted to have whiskey as your cat you could save that permanently next time you use the program. But we'll look at all those saving features in separate videos later. So simply to recap, type and symbols will appear. Appropriate symbols will automatically appear in many cases distinguishing between verbs and nouns. You can choose appropriate symbols where more than one is offered. It will handle double words but you can split them up if you want to and you can rename a symbol using the cat to Sam button or by pressing F11. And After you've renamed you simply press the right arrow key or click somewhere else in the document to say that you've finished the renaming and then it knows that for future use.